Hey guys, well, thought I'd do a little video for you, show you what I'm up to. Here's the power bar with all our connectors, all the guts inside. Um, right now I've got our three temps hooked up, and pH probe, and the RJ11 going to the display. Um, display has the RTC chip in it. This does not, doesn't need to know the time. So, let's power this up. Here, our relays click. And we'll power this up. And relays clicked again. I don't know if you heard that. And based on what this said to do. So we've got our three temps and our pH. And that's all coming through the cable. <laughs> that's awesome. So we go into our pH settings and we have it there as well. And we go into our temperature settings or calibrate. And we've got it there as well. Um, none of these settings work right now. What I'm going to do is have the two EEPROMs work in sync. So when I update the EEPROM in this one, it will update in there as well. And then it'll know what to do. Um, the pH is off. I don't recommend these cheap pens. Um, it's always been submerged in water and today I hook it up and we're getting low readings. But you can see it does work. That's not a good number. <laughs> um, okay, and heat up the light here and our tank. So you see those are updating every five seconds for the temperature, three seconds for uh, the pH. Set that alarm off and you'll hear this go. There, it just turned off because our temp went over 78 degrees. So that all works. Um, the fading also works in here based on what this does. So when it says to fade for uh, mid sun, we'll say, this knows and it fades. I haven't hooked the light up yet to test it, but here is the dosing pumps. I've got them mounted. Um, little board I made there. For some reason, I've got it wired wrong. Uh, kind of figured it out, but anyways, it's another day. Um, this does work for it though, just gotta test it. So let's hook this up. That's our USB cable. And I'll show you what it's doing here. There we go. Stupid computer. And get this one reset. So those first numbers, first numbers are all for the relay settings um, based on what this is set at. So now this knows what it should do based on those numbers. Um, and then the one, two, three, four, five, six is for the pH or the temperatures. And the 50, 51 is for the pH. So if we scroll this, you'll see it always updating here. every five seconds or three seconds, whatever it gets to first. Um, there's our memory, 73% of dynamic memory. Any higher, 75 is the threshold. So I was up to 83 and my fading stopped working on this guy. This is what's running my tank. Light it up here. There we go. That's running my tank right now, and it works fine. No temps, of course, but anyways, so we are pretty well there. Just got to update the EEPROM. All the electronics are controlled. So yeah, here's my tank. This is what um, we'll be controlling. It's doing well. It's been running, I don't know, six months? No, four months. No fertilizers, no CO2, no nothing. Got a lot of red going on up there. Um, nine rainbow dwarf fish and panda quarries. Six of them. Just started uh, stocking this tank, so. Did a water change today, so yeah, getting some purling action, if you can see that. 
Always does that. Pretty happy with it. So if we go back, we're under our safe, we can reset that. Oh, we can reset our min and max. And pull out our probe. There she goes up. Then here's my mess. <laughs> my weller. Yeah. Getting there. Talk to you guys later.